Quite recently, when my Azus Transformers power supply has stopped charging my device, I started looking for other solutions on how to fix it. I did come across a few people who had recommended to stick it into a Ziploc bag and then place the Ziploc bag with the power supply into the freezer for a little bit to allow the internal thermocouple time to cool off. Though this was a temporary solution to a big problem, looking around I did find your typical AC to DC universal adapters and with combination of these universal adapters along with a USB to barrel connector it was recommended this would charge the device. Unfortunately, if I could go buy these two items I'd just go buy a power supply. This got me thinking though. With the overabundance of 12 volt power supplies that I've acquired over the years, I took a one that was rated for the Azus Transformer in combination from an old motherboard with USB ports and carefully extracted the USB PCB mount. On the following diagram you see here why I just simply replaced pin 1 with a 12 volt power source much like the 5 volt stock and of course left ground as ground. Connecting the PCB USB port to a PCB proto board picked up from Radio Shack that I had laying on the shelf, I simply just followed up with connecting the power to pins 1 and the ground to pins 4. I also double coated the jacks on both rows to make sure that I was allowed to have dual charging. As you see here, everything matches up to where it should be with regards to power output. For those of you that don't know how to do this, I would recommend picking up a multimeter and double checking first that your polarity is correct. As you can see from this diagram below where the arrow is pointing, the negative will show bad polarity. After everything was tucked back and ready to go, I tucked the wires onto the PCB and zip tied them together to make for a nice neat solution, followed by taking a decent sized piece of heat shrink tubing to allow me to compress everything together and not allow for accidental electrocution. Okay, here's my Azus uh, Transformer 101 along with the uh, USB cable and the power supply 12 volt by 1 amp with just a USB cable soldered to the power leads coming out. Let's go ahead and plug in the Azus. And then I'm going to plug in my USB cable to the connector we just made into the top port. She kicks on and all this is charging. There you go. And just to simply show you that both ports do work for the same function, I'll plug it into the bottom one. And there it goes.